بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد continue on in our study of al usul al thalatha the imam mentioned about the ayat of Allah subhanahu wa taala and he mentioned the uh, in his the first verse he mentioned as evidence as dalil that about the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation. And we mentioned that the ayat, they are referred to at ayat as they are signs which show the existence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. These are dalil uh, that show that our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala exists. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us these ayat for that purpose. And we mentioned that there are ayat Sharia wa ayat koniya, and we said, for example, the beautiful picture you, you see before you, that this these are ayat koniya. These are things in the creation. These are created uh, signs throughout the creation to show that these. If you were to to be and 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 witness the beauty that walillah alham you see before you, but I've been to those places and I smelt the air and the beauty that is there. That that is, those are created signs which show and illustrate the existence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That these things didn't just come out of nowhere. It wasn't just the Big Bang Theory and then the trees grew over centuries and they adapted and this and that. No, but these are the signs. Allah is the creator of the heavens and earth. He created all things. And know that and believe in your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the other ayat are the ayat shari'i, and the ayat shari'i like the, the ayat of the Qur'an that we commonly use the term ayah uh, to refer to verses of the Qur'an. Those verses, and this is a fayda, this is a fayda from Sheikh, uh, uh, Sheikh Salim, uh, Salim, uh, Salim al-Hilali, hafizullah ta'ala, that he mentioned in his, his uh, explanation of usul al a very beneficial fayda. And he said that these ayat, the ayat shari'i, of course, are uncreated ayat. Whereas the first ayat, when you look at the skies, you look at this mountain, you look at those trees, you see, and the snow caps there, you see those things are created. Those are the ayat koniya. Those are created signs. The ayat shari'a are uncreated. Why? Because they are from the sifat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Those ayat shari'a are those uh, verses. The Quran is uncreated. The Quran is the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And therefore it is a sifat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That Allah speaks and he speaks in a manner that suits his majesty whenever and however he subhanahu wa ta'ala wishes. The Quran is the kalam of Allah, it's the speech of Allah. So those ayat, although they both take the term, uh, are referred to as ayat because they show the existence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, ayat shari'a are uncreated. Ayat koniya are created, the created signs. And that is a great fight that, that the Sheikh mentioned when he was explaining the ayat where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Women ayati alayla wa nahara wa shamsu wa qamar la tasiru li shamsi wa la lil qamar wa shidu li la yaladi khalakuhunna in kuntum yahu ta'budun. And from his, among his signs are the night and the day and the sun and the moon. Prostrate yourselves not to the sun or to the moon, but prostrate yourselves <coughs> to Allah who created them if you truly worship him. Prostrate to the one who created these beautiful this beautiful vast creation. But don't pro prostrate to this vast creation, no matter how beautiful and wonderful it appears and, 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 it, and it seems, and it is. The fascination of the human body, the in intricacies and the details. All of that was created by Rabbil Alameen. That's nothing for him. Al-Khaliq, Subhana. And then Imam Muhammad, he also mentioned another verse as Dalil for this. And he said... Uh, when he said, uh, "Inna Rabbukum Allah, 
الذي خلق خلق السماوات والارض في ستة ايام ثم استوى على العرش يغشي الليل النهار يطلبه حثيث وشمس والقمر والنجوم مسخرات بامر الا له الخلق والامر تبارك الله رب العالمين ان سورة الاعراف الله سبحانه وتعالى says in this verse indeed your lord is Allah who created the heavens and the earth in six days and then he Estoa, he rolls above the throne in a manner that suits, uh, befits his majesty. Uh, he brings the night as a cover over the day, uh, seeking it rapidly. And he created the sun, the moon, the stars, subjected to his command. Surely he is the, uh, his is the creation and commandment. Blessed is Allah, the Lord, the Rabbil Alameen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created everything. Allah said, Fi Kitab al Kareem, Indeed, your Lord is Allah, who created the heavens and the earth in six days, and then he astoa. Thumma astoa la la arsh. Then he rose above his throne in a manner that suits his majesty. So we don't negate that. We don't explain that away as the, as Ahla Bida and Ahla Zandaka do. And from Ahlul Bid'ah are the Ashairah, may Allah guide us in them. Because they make ta'wil of those ayat. They say, no, no, Allah didn't rise above His throne, but in fact it means this. So in fact they are negating that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rose above His throne in a manner that suits His majesty by making ta'wil of it, by saying, no, it means this. They're actually negating the fact, because they, they don't want to say directly that no, they can't remove the ayat. So what they will do is they will explain it away in a way to change the meaning. And as we mentioned in our explanation of uh, Aqidah Tawasatiya, that this uh, ta'wil or tahrif or ta'wil, it has uh, two types. There's ta'wil lefthi wa ta'wil ma'nawi. Ta'wil lefthi, ahabita fillah, this means that they change the actual word by just altering the letters. Instead of istawa, you will find in the uh, uh, many Ashari's books, and some of them will explain it on their tongues, they'll say, Istawa means istola. Now, are you telling me our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala could not or would not have articulated if that's what it means? Istawa means istola? So then that way they can explain away the meaning because they are afraid of making a resemblance between Allah and his creation because we rise above, uh, you know, we rise in, 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 in uh stand up and, and, and move from place to place. So they are afraid of making a resemblance because they say that Ahl Sunnah is making Tishbi. But in fact, Ahl Sunnah is not making Tishbi. Ahl Sunnah is not making a resemblance between the Creator and the creation. Except in that Allah explained Himself by rising. So we say Allah rose above His throne. And Allah says, uh, the Prophet ﷺ said about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the authentic hadith, Yanzulu Rabbuna Tabarak wa Ta'ala Kulu Thuluth Al-Layl Al-Akhir Allah, uh, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says Allah descends to the last, uh, in the last third of the night to the lowest heaven every night so we believe that, we don't ask how we don't say hey that doesn't fit my intellect I didn't read that in the dictionary I can't detect that in my senses that doesn't make sense to me, no we don't say that but rather we accept Taslim Taslim be Nusus, we accept those nusus, those texts. So Allah said about himself in this ayat, Indeed, your Lord is Allah who created the heavens and the earth in six days. And then he istawa, then he rose above his throne, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And those are also dalil, as the imam uh, made, made istidlal in, in, in the, the shahid of this ayat, is that, he brings the night as a cover over the day. Seek, uh, and he created the sun, the moon, the stars, subjected to his command, letting us know that 
those are signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and all of his creation conforms to his command subhanahu wa ta'ala and then uh, Imam Muhammad ibn Duhab he mentioned another faida He said, "Warab huwa ma'bud." With the little qulu ta'ala, ya yu an nas abudu rabbukum aladhi khalakum wa aladhi na min qablakum la alakum tatkum. Aladhi jala lakum al ard firash wa sama bina wa anzal min al sama imaan fakhraja bihi min tamarat rizqan lakum. Fala tajalu lillahi an darin wa antum ta'alamun. So then the Imam mentioned the ayat. He said the word Lord, de defining what Rub. He said the Lord, uh, the word Lord means the one who is worshipped. The evidence for this is the saying of Allah, which means, "O mankind." So Allah is commanding all of mankind: worship your Lord who created you and those who were before you, so that you may become the pious, who has made the earth a resting place for you, and the sky is a canopy, and sent down water from the sky and brought forth. There with fruits as a provision for you. Then do not set up rivals unto a law while you know that he alone has the right to be worshipped. That ayat in and of itself, analyze that ayat. And look at those signs of Allah, from, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Imam Ibn Kathir said, Rahimahullah ta'ala, the one who created these creation is the one who has the right to be worshipped. Huwa mustahiq lil-ibadah. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jalla. Anything I said that was incorrect was for myself and the shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.